Hi guys, and I'm gonna show you something called Wubi. And Wubi is uh, a, an Ubuntu installer for Windows operating system. It's the easiest way possible to install or and remove Linux uh, on your computer without messing around with partitions and making a big mess around on your hard drive. And here's how you would get started. Firstly, you'd have to obtain the ISO image of Ubuntu Linux. Note the version. This version is 9.04. So, get the ISO image from the Ubuntu website. And the next thing you would want to do you you would want to search on Google Wubi. Click the first link. Now on the website you can read through why Wubi is a great choice and look at some screenshots if you'd like to. And of course note that the Wubi installer is the same version as your Ubuntu ISO image. Click it and save Wubi in the same directory as your Ubuntu ISO image. This is very important. Note that Wubi is the same version as your Ubuntu and that it is in the same directory. It is not the same thing as unit button. Now then here it is, Wubi Ubuntu in the same directory. After that, you would want to launch Wubi by double clicking it. Now if you have the CD, the Ubuntu CD already burnt, then you would you can insert the CD in and click on uh, install inside Windows and Wubi, the Wubi application will appear. The application is actually the same thing. And this is what the application looks like. You are about to install Ubuntu. You can choose the hard disk you want to install on. I want to install it on D because it has much more space. You can choose the installation size. You can choose which uh, desktop environment you want. But you, you must have the ISO image already inside that directory or else it will this Wubi 2 will be downloading uh, the ISO image ISO image by itself which isn't as effective as downloading using uh, normal tools such as Firefox download manager or by torrent so make sure the operating system the ISO image is already in, already exists, already is already downloaded. I don't have any other Kubuntu or Subuntu already installed, already downloaded. Sorry. And of course, note the version. Language is going to be English, and you want to enter your username and password before clicking install. And of course. As you can see, there is this button right here. Please don't worry about it. Just click on install once all fields are filled in. Alright. And let Wubi do the job. Now it's checking the installation files to see whether the text is usable or whether it's corrupted or not. Don't worry about that. The next thing it's going to do, it will extract the ISO image and move it into a directory so that it will be it can the operating system can be booted up 
After that, it will install extract the kernel and install the bootloader, which will allow you to boot up uh, Ubuntu the operating system. After that, of course, it will take around 30 minutes, no, no longer. After that, it will prompt you to reboot now or manually. Now, when you reboot, you'll be prompted by this little uh, this uh, operating system chooser. You can choose between to boot up between Microsoft Windows or Ubuntu. Use your arrow up and down arrow keys, and then press Enter. Now, when when you first uh, boot up Ubuntu, you need it will uh, mess up a little bit about it. It will uh, finalize the installation and after the first boot up you won't have to finalize or worry about anything else it w you will be able to use Ubuntu <coughs> so there it is there you'll be able to boot up Ubuntu just like that Just like that, just like uh, an installed operating system, and all changes will be made uh, even after shutdown. It's not a live USB; it's installed. And if you feel like you don't uh, really like Ubuntu much, you can really ins uh, uninstall it easily by going to Control Panel, going to add or remove find Ubuntu scroll down until you get to Ubuntu then click change slash remove after a while the Ubuntu uninstaller Ruby will come up and click uninstall and Ubuntu has been uninstalled And you can note, you can f uh, see if e everything's uh, already been have already been uninstalled by going through your directory, going to your directory, and if the Ubuntu folder isn't there anymore, it's removed. And that's about it, really. It's really recommended for beginners, and if you face any problems please comment